And that breaking news right now, the Chiefs are talking to the press for the first time since our report on Tyreek Hill broke. Let's hear from Chiefs General Manager Brett Veach. To address the media on behalf of the organization, um, earlier this evening we were made aware of the audio between Tyreek and Crystal. Um, we were made of this information um, in real time, just like the general public. We were deeply disturbed by what we heard. We were um, deeply concerned. Um, now, obviously, we um, have great concern for Crystal. We are greatly concerned for Tyreek, but our main focus and our main concern is with the young child. Um, as soon as the draft concluded after the last pick, um, I had the chance to call Drew Rosenhaus, and we decided that at this time um, and for the foresee foreseeable future, Tyreek Hill will not take part in any team activities. Um, we are going to gather more information. We're going to evaluate this information, and um, we will make the right decision regarding Tyreek Hill. Um, thank you guys for staying out tonight, and uh, I do look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. All right, thank you. All right, that is Chiefs General Manager Brett Veach talking about the Tyreek Hill situation. Just to recap, he said that he heard about the report, the audio report that we, re we released during our 6 o'clock news tonight, Andrew Ricono, on the investigation. He said they learned about it just when everyone else did. Mm -hmm. They were deeply disturbed, deeply concerned. He said that their main concern is with the child, but he said that Tyreek Hill will not take part in any team activities as they continue to look into this. Yeah, so we thought tonight that Tyreek Hill might be cut as a chief based on our reporting. That has not happened yet. So all we know at this point is that Tyreek Hill is not able to participate in team activities, off-season workouts, for example, uh, but that's it. And General Manager Brett Veach would not take any questions. And uh, that's it. Very brief statement. And we're supposed to hear from the Chiefs tomorrow as they introduce one of their new players. But, uh, I mean, <laughs> there's going to be a cloud over that news conference. Well, no doubt about that. Uh, they've got several picks tomorrow mm -hmm. in the second and third rounds. But, but clearly a lot of Chiefs fans tonight wondering about the, the welfare of, of uh, Tyreek's mm -hmm child, three-year-old child, -old who's, been at, who's been at the heart of this investigation. Mm -hmm. um, we have much more reporting to do on this. It was KCTV5 who obtained uh, the exclusive audio of that conversation between Tyreek and, and his fiance. And uh, there has been reverberation around the country about mm -hmm. this. A lot of people have been shocked by what they heard by that. And clearly, as you heard from General Manager Brett Veach, the Chiefs are taking this very seriously. He's been uh, he will not take part in any team activities for now. We'll keep a very close eye on this and keep reporting on this for you. Yeah, we'll have much more in our morning show starting at 430. And then, of course, all throughout the day and evening on KCTV5 News. You can also look for updates on our free news app, KCTV5. Thank you for joining us here as we cover this breaking story involving Tyreek Hill.